Hello, welcome back. This is Minecraft on the Block. Um, today we're going to do some catching up. It's been about a day and a half since I actually recorded a video, which at this point is is a long time. All of the videos I've recorded have been within the last few days. So anyway, um, I want to just kind of catch up and talk about a few things. Um, one, I've done a lot of building. Uh, two, I've done some mining, and I want to talk a little bit more. I've, I said, I think in the previous videos, I, I've been watching them back, and I want to <laughs> correct some things that I've been doing wrong. I say things, and then I don't really show it, and I've talked about how I mine and, and my process, but I haven't really talked about some of the, uh, the structure and processes that I actually use, so we'll do a little bit of that. Um, also look at the building that I've done. I also wanted to, just before I forget, uh, Minecraft for Life 90 um, left me a, a comment and told me I keep making a big deal about Minecraft or about uh, sandstone being naturally occurring. And apparently it is naturally occurring. It's not a big deal and it happens under a few layers of sand. So I haven't played in a lot of desert biomes. In fact, this is the first one that I've encountered in my games. I've seen them on videos, obviously. but And the digging that I do in sand is usually just a couple of layers to get some sand for glass. So anyway... Um, Thanks for that information. And uh, the other thing I wanted to do is, is talk about kind of what we'll do next time on the video. Um, I'm starting to prepare for mining a little bit. You can see I'm getting a, a grass while well, I'm getting the sand dug up and I'll start adding some grass in. But anyway, let's go down and do a little bit of, uh, of talking about mining. Um, so usually I wouldn't, well, usually what I'll do is I'll kind of just follow my way down to bedrock and just kind of slowly make my way down. And then... And, and just kind of follow the natural uh, path of the, you know, of the caverns and whatever, and then you get down to bedrock. Well, this time when I was digging, it was just all straight um, granite. There was no nothing in the way, so I just kind of came straight down. And when I got to bedrock, I just dug a tunnel. And but the most efficient way to actually mine your space is to do I don't even know what they call it. I call it hallway mining. But you basically just start cutting hallways into the granite. And when you're at bedrock, you don't find a lot of actual... Um, hey, Hello, welcome back. This is Minecraft on the Block. Um, today, we're going to do some catching up. It's been about a day and a half since I actually recorded a video, which at this point is, is a long time. All of the videos I've recorded have been within the last few days. So anyway... Um, I want to just kind of catch up and talk about a few things. Um, one, I've done a lot of building. Uh, two, I've done some mining, and I want to talk a little bit more. I've, I said, I think in the previous videos, I, I've been watching them back, and I want to <laughs> correct some things that I've been doing wrong. I say things, and then I don't really show it, and I've talked about how I mine and, and my process, but I haven't really talked about some of the, uh, the structure and processes that I actually use, so we'll do a little bit of that. Um, also look at the building that I've done. I also want to, just before I forget, uh, Minecraft for Life 90, um, left me a, a comment and told me I keep making a big deal about Minecraft or about uh, sandstone being naturally occurring, and apparently it is naturally occurring. It's not a big deal, and it happens under a few layers of sand. So I haven't played in a lot of desert biomes. In fact, this is the first one that I've encountered in my games. I've seen them on videos, obviously, but and the digging that I do in sand is usually just a couple of layers to get some sand for glass. So anyway, um, thanks for that information. And uh, the other thing I wanted to do is is talk about kind of what we'll do next time on the video. Um, I'm starting to prepare for mining a little bit. You can see I'm getting a, a grass while well, I'm getting the sand dug up and I'll start adding some grass in. But anyway, let's go down and do a little bit of, uh, of talking about mining. Um, so usually I wouldn't, well, usually what I'll do is I'll kind of just follow my way down to bedrock and just kind of slowly make my way down and then, and, and just kind of follow the natural uh, path of the, you know, of the caverns and whatever, and then you get down to bedrock. Well, this time when I was digging, it was just all straight um, granite. There was no nothing in the way. So I just kind of came straight down, and when I got to bedrock, I just dug a tunnel. And But the most efficient way to actually mine your space is to do, I don't even know what they call it, I call it hallway mining, but you basically just start cutting hallways into the granite. And when you're at bedrock, you don't find a lot of actual... Um, all right, we're back. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. Anyway, so that was one of the things I wanted to show you. The other thing um, was obviously the building I've done, and we'll see if it's light outside upstairs. Um, we've done some building, and I, I, I kept promising that I was going to expand and build a tower, and, and this is where we finally get to see the fruits of my labor. Like I said, I've actually spent a lot of time playing offline um, without doing videos. I did a couple of videos that I didn't think were very good, and so just kind of the way it goes. 
Oh, this is good. I wanted it to be raining. I wanted to show you this. So one of the things that I wanted to show was that it rains. You can We're in a desert, right? So it makes sense that it doesn't rain a lot in a desert. All right, we'll see if I have to scrap this video or not. Hopefully you guys don't mind the kid interruptions. You find them as cute as I do. So anyway, yeah, oh, so I was talking about the rain. So it's crazy. It stopped raining. No, it didn't stop raining. This is exactly it. So it rains on half of my house, and on half of it it doesn't. This is crazy. So I guess it basically just has to do with desert. Whatever is considered a desert block is not getting rain, and forest blocks do get rain. So it's funny. If you go up here, I'll show you. This is a better view of it. I was going to show you anyway. So let's let's go up. This is a totally disjointed video, and I apologize, but it's fun. So, Anyway, I wanted to show this. I, I also was going to say, yeah, from here you can get a really good idea. Like, It's not raining, and it is. And if we go up even higher, I have like a little lookout post. I do this because I like to have um, fence. I like to have a railing around the top area so I don't accidentally fall off. But I also like to be able to get up higher and look pretty much straight down without having to worry too much. So... I know it probably doesn't help too much, but I just like to get up a little higher. And if I fall off of this, it's not a big deal unless I go all the way off. But anyway, here you can see you can see the rain. It goes all the way around, and it's raining over there, but it's not raining here. So we're really right on the edge of two biomes. I mean, just directly on the edge. We already knew that, but it's kind of cool. So this mountain basically cuts right across. Anyway, um, one of the things that I really became aware of <laughs> when I was building this, I, I keep talking about it, but I, I haven't played on hardcore mode before. Um, and I certainly hadn't played, you know, any done any videos because these are the first series I've done. So these tutorials are basically, um, you know, I, I, I'm treating them like I was just kind of starting the game and, and talking about how I play. But it's funny because when you start building up this high, you start to really get that sense of mortality. You realize that if you die, you're done. And if you, f you know, if I take a digger off of this, you know, that's that's probably going to kill me. And probably, even if I fall, you know, off of here, I probably would die. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it wouldn't be fun. And if I was hungry and had a few hearts down, I probably would. So anyway, it's crazy. It's kind of scary and it's interesting. It, it definitely, you know, this game el elicits so many real world emotions. I mean, just kind of the sense of fear when you, you know, the first night or the first, you know, while you're playing the game. And then as you get comfortable, you know, some of the senses of awe that you see when, or you experience when you see new places and, you know, kind of, it can, it can create some amazing terrain. So, um, Especially, you know, playing it on big monitors and, you know, it's it's just, it's really nice and it runs really well. So anyway, the idea, the, the other, <laughs> the other real life emotion that it elicits is that sense of mortality. I guess I don't know if I'd call it an emotion, but anyway, you get the idea. So, um, yeah, I wanted to, I guess, did I show this from the outside? I did all that work and then I don't know if I actually showed. So, so this is the tower from the outside. And... A lot of work has been done, obviously. This is all new, everything from right here over. Um, we just had kind of this little house, and I, I built this. This is a viewing area for um, <laughs> for the sunset, and I have one on the other side. You saw that when we were in there. And and this is the tower. I made it all out of sandstone. I kind of wanted to leave some of the dirt. I'll probably take some of this dirt out, like right there, some dirt that just doesn't really fit. But anyway, um, the idea was that it would be, um, you know, that it would kind of look like it was growing out of the side of the mountain and be a little organic, and I don't know if we're accomplishing that or not, but it kind of does. It kind of fits in with at least at least what was there. And I've started work. Well, probably next time we're going to we're gonna do some farming. Um, I've started digging this out. Yeah, it's still raining. It's just crazy. Started digging this out, and I'm going to put grass in here. It'll be interesting to see... Well, what I'm going to do is put dirt in here and then hope that the grass spreads. It will be interesting to see if this stays desert i'm assuming it is because i i would assume that the lines the desert kind of biome lines are generated you know at the beginning and they don't change so i don't know if adding dirt in here is going to change that from sand or from desert biome to forest or not i don't know if it'll rain on half of this um i think that if we keep if we if we can get enough water in here and keep this hydrated that it won't matter um that we can probably probably grow on both sides just as well i know rain does hydrate um, soil as well so anyway the idea will be that we will uh, fill this in with water to make sure we have water all the way around i'll create a never-ending water source probably over there somewhere that we can use as kind of just a place to go get water and then i'll dump some buckets in here we'll fill this up and then eventually we will um, put in rows two rows at a time of um 
two or three. I'll have to look it up. There's a there's a, a maximum efficiency way to go about it. You put in two or three rows of grass. Um, water will saturate, I think, two rows deep in any direction or two blocks deep in any direction. And if that's the case, then we'll put rows of probably three, three or four, I guess four, and um, we'll grow reeds uh, on the outside. Reeds have to be directly next to water. They can't even be a block above. They have to be directly level and next to water. Um, so we'll grow reeds. We'll try to find some pumpkins and grow pumpkin, uh, get pumpkin seeds and grow pumpkins and melons and wheat. And then once we start growing some wheat, we'll use that wheat to uh, lure in some cattle and we'll probably create a ranch around here somewhere. I'm not sure. The ranch may be on the other side. Um, we may put the ranch on the other side of the house and just kind of start to get get a little bit of a yeah probably put a ranch over here somewhere start to get a little bit of a of a homestead going and then um after that we'll do some more stuff i, I definitely want to create a bed i'll probably do that next time we'll get some sheep um we'll shear them i have these shears that we made we'll shear some sheep and we'll start getting getting some wool we'll get a bed and then we'll start to put in some carpet in here um we'll get different color wool i also got lapis that was something i wanted to show you um one of the things that you that you find when mining is lapis and that is this stuff it's really only used for dye you can create blocks out of it too but it's really only used for dye so that's what we'll use it for probably create some blue wool and light blue wool and all kinds of crazy stuff also make some signs and we'll label our our boxes probably dig another level of a cellar we're going to need some pretty soon Anyway, you get the idea. We're doing doing a lot of work on the house, and I really wanted this just to be, I know it's a totally disjointed video, but I wanted it to be a just a kind of a catch-up on what I've been doing and show you guys the house. Um, yeah, so anyway, I really appreciate you watching. Leave your comments and your feedback. Um, one of the things Minecraft for Life 90 also left in a comment said he really liked the watching the building, which I, I didn't obviously let you guys watch that on this one, so... Um, I'll try to do more of that on the farm and, and as we expand. But anyway, as usual, check me out at uh, minecraftontheblock.blogspot.com. We're about to get a buzzer from my stopwatch. There it is. That means we ran out of time. minecraftontheblock.blogspot.com. And tell your friends. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon.